all Tom and in today's tutorial for Crossplays we're going to see hacking Android and uh, the first topic that we're going to speak is exposed framework. So exposed is a framework for modules that can change the behavior of the system and applications without touching any APK files in our device. Uh, this is really good because uh, modules can work for different versions and different ROMs without any changes in the APK files. Uh, it is also easy to undo any changes uh, because everything is done in the memory of the system and we just need to deactivate the module and reboot to get uh, our original system back. Uh, exposed framework uh, is now on version 2.7 it is an experimental one for uh, because it can work on Android Lollipop and uh, we can download it from the original exposed repository as you can see here I'm going to give you the link in the in the description so we download the APK we hit OK and we are going to install it of course, exposed, exposed Framework needs uh, root privileges on our device and the first time that we will open the application we go to the first category, the Framework as you can see it gives us a disclaimer because uh, in some devices and, and in some cases uh, the installation process of uh, Exposed Framework may soft brick or give us a boot loop on our device and uh, this is why we have to be really careful with this hit ok and to install it we just have to hit the install button here After, ok we give super user permissions and now it asks for reboot now that we have rebooted you can see in the framework page here that uh, the framework is active with 58 app processes and here 54 exposed bridges are ok we go back and let's see what other selections we have here in the second uh, section we can see modules that are al already installed but we're going to speak later for this in the third section we can see download uh, where we can find every module that uh, it is available and we can download to download a module we just select it we hit repository here and we download its APK file of the specified module that we want we install it as a, an unknown source APK file and then we're going to see it in the module section here to enable a module we just hit the box here and after a reboot we can, we can use it so an example module that I really enjoy to use is awesome pop-up video which is a more or less a video player that pops up every time that uh, recognizes a video source so if we open YouTube here and we select a video to play we can see a notification on our drawer that uh, let us, lets us pop out our video so we hit pop out video And as you can see here, a window opened, have opened, that uh, everything we open now in the background, this, uh, this uh, window keeps playing. You can see that we can resize it, move it, and it is really good for multitasking and playing video while we are, make, uh, we are doing other 
jobs in our device. So this is a really good example and it is really stable. You can see, you can find every every module in the exposed framework application. There is a big variety of applications and now that uh, it supports Android uh, Lollipop 5.1 it can be supported from newer devices. So thank you for watching. If you like my videos please subscribe to my channel, like or comment. Thank you.